Okay, it's time for us to move on. We'll call this meeting to order. If you would, everybody rise and join us in prayer and the Pledge of Allegiance. Father, we thank you for this opportunity to gather and to uh, work together in service to the people that we live with and that we commune with, people that we serve. Lord, we pray that you'll guide our important decisions tonight with sober thoughts and deliberate hearts and with wisdom. God, for these things we give you thanks and pray that you will bless this council, keep an eye on them, and remember all of those who serve in all the different capacities both here and, and away. These things we pray in thy name. Amen. Amen. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States Seated, please. <coughs> all right. Council, you should all be in receipt of the minutes from the August meeting and the special called meeting. Um, if there are no corrections or changes, I would entertain a motion to approve. Motion. There we go. Motion and a second. All in favor of approving the minutes? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Mr. McCoy, finance report. Finance report for August. General fund revenues, 922201 3.1% above our year-to-date projection. Sales tax receipt were $758,107. Franchise fees and permits, 63,210. General fund expenditures for June, whoops, 880,980, 2.7% below our year-to-date projections. Our, we've received $315,806 more received than expended, which includes the 122,000 from the airport refund on property. Street fund, 127,000. 867 and 8% below year to date projections. Sales tax receipts were 125,463. New half cent sales tax 46,550. Street fund expenditures 142,599, 13% below his year to date projections. Sales tax improvements 269,742 in overlay. And we bought a truck for 51,226 out of their capital. Economic development revenues were 20974 17828 was the new sales tax, $3,146 interest. We had no expenditures. <coughs> Capital assets, $543,988. $542,144 was the new sales tax, $3,839 in grants, and we had an interest transfer that left 1996 negative. Expenditures were $95,827 for City Corp, the Aquatic Center, Fire Station, and the Airport. Any questions? Anybody, anybody have any questions for Mr. McCoy? <coughs> Hearing none, thank you, Mr. McCoy. Before I start my report, we've got a large group here. They are students from if I got it right, the Arkansas Tech Parks and Recreation Administration class. Uh, they were supposed to observe a uh, government operation. Would all of you stand up and be recognized, please? Thank you. Are we all a different class? Do we have a different class here also? American government. Y'all go ahead and stand up too then. We thank you for your interest. Thank you. thank you. Mayor's report. Currently all of our departments are almost fully staffed and are carrying out operations as expected and on or below budget. Police and fire departments each have one vacant position, I believe is correct, the latest information I had. 
they're in the, pro the process of training some new hires presently. The airport has a pending application for a part-time position that came open uh, a few weeks ago. Construction is continuing on the new animal shelter addition. The building should be in the drive by the end of the week. Uh, Construction is underway on the Depot Park Pavilion project. The remodel project at Fire Station 3 is nearly complete and firefighters stationed at that location should be moved back into the building within the next couple of weeks. Uh, paving is complete on the runway extension project at the airport. Runway lighting is being installed. Uh, painting is expected to begin, to begin soon, weather permitting. Revenues last month met projected uh, budget projections and thanks to frugal spending by city personnel, expenses are below projections for the year. Things are going well for the great city. When we meet people from other places, whether they're guests here or we're traveling somewhere else, none of us has to hang our heads in shame when we are identified as being members of the city of Russellville family. As a matter of fact, when I get a chance to mention what I do for a living, it's kind of hard for me not to be just a little bit smug around most people. I think we've got a city to be proud of. <coughs> the exciting part is that as great as it is, there are still opportunities to expand upon. There's potential yet to be maximized. The future is bright and remains full of promise. And all we need to do is prepare to accept and take advantage of it. For the past few months, city administration has been recommending a one-fourth of one cent increase in our sales tax to augment our general funds budget. Reaction is as expected, negative. No one ever wants to talk about a tax increase. Attendance at our town hall meetings has been dismal and pretty much the attendees are those that are generally against taxes. But in other group presentations, once presented with verifiable data and facts, those that are in attendance that hear the information presented are at least receptive or understanding of the need to modernize our revenue stream. Most of us forget or never think about the fact that we do not have any millage and that our sales tax rate is below comparable communities. Even after adding the suggested one quarter cent increase, our sales tax rate is gonna be below comparable communities. The communities that people tell us all the time we want to be more like this town or that town. Even after adding, uh, even after adding that, we would still be below the state average, zero mills to city general and lower than state average sales tax. Our costs have been constantly increasing while revenues are flat for the past eight years. Reasonable people accept the responsibility that we must at some time address the need to correct the long running trend of level or declining revenues and gradually but steadily increasing expenses. The citizens of Russellville know that formula does not facilitate or support a sustainable future for the city. Some of the increasing costs that we deal with every day are beyond our control. They're the result of natural increases that we all know as cost of living. Additionally, seldom does a day go by that we not, do not receive a request or suggestion that we upgrade some facility or service that the city offers. These are from the people, the ones that we all swore to represent and to serve. When they are visiting other communities and they see or experience whatever that community offers that we do not, it begets a request that our city try to provide a matching or better facility. And in the end, that is what we're in business for. Municipal government exists to provide to the best of our ability for the reasonable needs and desires of our citizens. The best information currently available puts the average combined household income for families in Russellville at about $54,000 per year. The accepted formula 
shows that for these households, the additional cost of one quarter cent increase in our sales tax will be less than $50 per year. Lower income households will pay less. Higher spending households will pay a little more. When most of us hear mention of some kind of revenue enhancement projected to generate a couple of million dollars a year in additional income, our natural reaction is to question what is this going to cost me? In this case, the added total on a $40 dinner out will be about a dime. For a $100 purchase, the tax would go up 25 cents. If you scrape together $1,500 to add that new deck on the back of the house, the added tax would be $3.75. This is a usage-based tax, and I consider it the fairest way to bring in the extra revenue that the city will need if we are to continue to provide for the wants and needs of services and facilities that our people expect. The question before the council tonight in old business items one and two is whether to allow the voters of Russell the opportunity to make this important decision. That is where this decision should be made. I encourage the members to approve these two items and put the decision in the hands of the voters in November. And that will conclude my report. Ms. Lynn Jackamore has the department report. Or is Mr. Hodge going to do it? For those of you watching at home, that is not Lynn. It's James Hodge. Okay, I'm just going to go over a few things with the website. Just want to highlight a few things on the new, head, uh, new uh, website. Uh, when you go to a website, it's uh, www.rsvlar.org. You have an option in the top right corner up here to sign in. If you've never signed in, you can create an account. It takes all of about two minutes. All you have to do is give an email address, your name, and if you want to get text message alerts, you can include your phone number. Uh, there are different things you can do on a website, but the ones I want to hit on is the uh, stay notified. Enter your address, email address here, and then click on any of these things down here in these lists, and we need receive uh, text or uh, email alerts for things that might happen throughout the city. If you want police alerts that might involve Amber Alerts, Silver Alerts, uh, Morgan Nix, or wanted individuals, you can sign up for those here. If you want alerts on uh, when different departments are having different events or uh, uh, are looking to hire for new people, you can subscribe to the corresponding locations down below or to their calendar. Um, something else we've, we've received a lot of calls on is uh, a lot of people want to report a street light. So on all the pages, you can come up to the left side and you can click on the link here that says report a street light outage. And it takes you straight to Energy's website now. The other thing I wanted to show is the uh, Russell Police Department has a standalone website now. It is uh, www.russellpolice.org. And um, for all your police department needs, you can pay your fines, receive accident reports, handle all that stuff online now. Uh, subject to your questions, Mr. Mayor, that's all I have. Anybody have any questions? Thank you, Mr. Hodge. <coughs> Committee reports. Chairman Tripp, anything for us this month? Thank you, Mayor. I apologize. It seems like we have a long list. We, it, it may not actually be one, but it seems like a long list. <coughs> On uh, the council agenda for tonight, item number two, the appropriation from capital assets fund transfer to the building fund. Again, this is $100,000 transfer from the general fund to the building fund as an appropriation that was voted on by the council to recommend, I mean, by the committee to recommend to the council in form of a motion. Council, you heard the committee's motion. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? 
Next item of resolution authorizing the mayor and city clerk treasurer to enter into an agreement with Pope County, Arkansas for an early warning system uh, to be provided by Everbridge. That was also uh, approved by the committee to recommend to the council in form of the motion. Uh, you've all heard the motion. Is discussion. there any discussion? Can we have discussion? Mr. Harris. This was brought up and discussed and voted on at the last council meeting. I don't know that much has changed since that time, and I'm not sure why we're revisiting this issue. I did take the opportunity to go back and look at the grant that was awarded on this issue, it was awarded by Entergy Arkansas Nuclear One. One of the things this grant says in the application process is that any ongoing costs will be Polk County will be funding the annual maintenance in future 9-11 budgets. That was submitted as part of this grant. I also asked to find out, because I've heard several times that this is a perpetual grant that we'll get every year, and I verified that's not the case. Um, so by buying into this, what we're saying is that we're willing to pay part of the cost for this ongoing. Now, I just heard the mayor say that the city needs additional funding. And I'm looking at a resolution here that's been brought back to the council to spend money that we don't need to spend. So, having said that, I do not support this in any form or fashion. Thank you, Mr. Harris. Roll you call, please. Uh, I'd like to address a couple of things. Uh, I may have been uh, not clear, it's not a perpetual grant. It, the funding that came with it is good for about 16 months. There was some discussion in the previous meeting that it could be renewed. It may or may not, so full disclosure on that. And the thing that has changed that caused some members to think that we should uh, reconsider is the fact that City Corporation has expressed an interest in also partnering on this, further reducing our cost. I 100% believe what I just said, that the best thing long-term for the future of Russville is to look at doing a one-quarter cent sales tax. Or we can kick the can down the road, whatever mood y'all are in. But in the meantime, we still have to operate the city the best we can. We still have to take advantage of opportunities when they arise. Anybody else? You heard the motion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? No. Aye. Roll call. <coughs> Mr. Tripp? Yes. Ms. Harris? No. Mr. Stuber? No. Mr. Roberts? Yes. Mr. Brown? No. Mr. Wiley? No. Mr. Harris? No. no. Motion failed. <coughs> Mr. Chairman. Next on agenda, Mayor, consideration of resolution reaffirming the local poli Russell Police Pension Relief Board to use an alternative cash flow method in, of determining actuarial soundness under PRV rule number four. That was approved by the committee and recommendation to the council as a motion. Any discussion? You've heard the motion. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Next, uh, <clears throat> the committee discussed uh, the topic of uh, using a construction manager method for the new fire station. And I believe that that was uh, to put to the committee, uh, put to the full council to, um, to review the existing proposals and to potentially set a date back to, to discuss and, and uh, move move that discussion further if, if that's what the vote is. But that was made by uh, the committee uh, to bring to the full council in form of a motion, again, just to review the, uh, the existing proposals to implement that in the process. Okay, council, you heard the motion, or th is there any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. 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 
Next, consideration of resolution to enter into a purchase sale agreement for real property with Chill Build LLC. I believe this is property out near the previous Giddies facility and uh, <coughs> that where the city is going to sell them 30 or something acres. I don't remember the exact total, uh, but that was passed by the committee in form of the motion to the full council. Mr. Smith, is there anything additional we need to know on that? No. Council, you heard the motion. Is there any discussion? All in favor? Mayor, if you, for clarification, this purchase, this money, because Ms. Harris had asked this before, the proceeds from the sale will go into the general fund. I believe that's correct. Any other discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Next item, consideration of resolution to accept the low bid for improvements to Interstate Drive and Gary Drive. This again was approved by the committee in form of a motion to the full council. I'd like, I'd like to ask what the purpose of these improvements are. I, I just don't know why we're improving that stretch of road. Mr. Jones. That's, yes, I am. It's, uh, it's over in an area where there's heavy truck traffic. The trucks have destroyed the road, <coughs> basically. Um, and it's, um, and in fact, if you go out there right now, a portion of Interstate Drive is, uh, is, is just gravel at this point. But, um, you know, we, we're gonna go in and, and, you know, some of those areas, particularly between where the trucks are turning out and exiting the truck wash onto the road, uh, and Bradley Cove Road, well, a section of it is already concrete and there'll be some more concrete added and then some of the other areas that uh, where the asphalt has failed will be undercut and, and replaced with stone backfill and as asphalt pavement. But it's, it's, I mean, there's a lot of truck traffic out on that road and it's, it's failing. Thank you. Mr. Jones, didn't we do this two years ago? Did we did part of this? We did part of it. We did the actual, uh, the, it would be the connection point of, of uh, Interstate Drive and Bradley Cove. That, that concrete was, was uh, put in about probably two, two and a half years ago. And, that, and that's held up well. I mean, there's no issues with it. This is on back further to the uh, south on Interstate Drive. And then there's some patches again over on the Gary mm -hmm. Drive, which is the parallel road that are exhibiting some of the same failures. Okay. Any other discussion? Any idea what that's going to come in at? It, 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 it has been bid. I mean, okay. This is the, what, what, I'm just not seeing it. Yeah, what's your, uh, it's $128,000 was, was the low bid. My estimate was 130000 Okay. So. Thank you. Sorry. <clears throat> Everybody okay? Any other questions? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? <laughs> Next consideration, uh, I'm sorry, Mayor, this, the following items will be from our meeting previous to this meeting tonight, just for clarification. Consideration of resolution levying and millage taxes on all property in the city of Russellville, repealing uh, resolution 1423. This is the 0.4 mills and 0.4 mills for the fire and police pensions boards uh, that has been uh, in effect for several years. Uh, this, this is something we have to do each year to give to the county prior to their October or November meeting so that they can put on the tax books. And that was approved by the committee form of a motion recommendation to the full council. Council, you heard the motion. Any discussion? I, I would, I would. Since I've heard tonight that we don't have millage and this one says that we do have millage, how is it different? I probably should correct that, shouldn't I? This is a 0.4 mils for the Police pension fund for our, before we went on lot fee, our uh, uh, police and fire pension funds, we self, we funded them. Uh, this 0.4 mills maintains that. It does not go to the general fund. It's a pass through that goes straight into, uh, into those two pension funds. But it's still a millage <coughs> to the citizens. Do you know how many is left on that pension? I don't know the exact numbers, but 
How many? There's six on the fleet. How many on the fire, do you know? About 30. About 30. Will this sunset anytime? Uh, uh, we vote on it every year. So but it, 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 it will play out when all the ones that are retired now are gone. Then it dies. <clears throat> Jerry, you want to follow, follow up on that last one? The reason we put this in place was to help the general fund because if we don't have this millage, we have to make up the difference on these yeah. two funds. So this is a new millage? No. no. It's been in effect no, since it's been in effect for years and years. It's just renewed. It's just, you just renew it each no, year. No, we have yeah, we have a millage, point four. Explain, Jerry, what's going to happen with the loppy. I mean, can we run this out until the last member is gone, or is there a point where we have to start participating in loppy? No. Uh, I, I believe that the police pension, if they lose another member, we will have to turn that over to loppy, but we still have to fund it as a city. It doesn't matter whether they go to loppy; they still it still has to be funded. This is the agreement that they've had in in place for what 20 or 30 years yes we went through this several years ago we dropped it and then it cost the city so much money or cost us money out of the general fund we could we decided we would go back to it and it's worked fine ever since yes it's sustaining well and and it's not too much it's just yeah it's just a little bit <laughs> any other discussion all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Mr. Next, Chairman. consideration of ordinance authorizing Ritter Communications and successors and assigns to construct, maintain, operate a communications network within the city, Rustville and levying a franchise tax providing for the payment thereof. That was uh, passed uh, by the recommendation of the count, uh, committee to the council for one reading only. Uh, one, suspending the rules title only for the first of three readings <laughs> only. I want, to, I want to change your motion on this one. I want to make a motion we spend the rule of Reba title only with a short explanation to pass it tonight. Needs a second. This is that one y'all talking about? Need a second to vote on the amendment. To vote on the amendment. Is there a second to the amendment to the original motion? Say again. Spend the rules and read title only with short explanations so we can pass this tonight. One reading. One reading. I second it. <clears throat> okay, for clarification, we will be voting on the motion to amend. Yes. Everybody okay with that? What was Tripp's motion? I, couldn't, I can't hear it down here. Uh, the committee's motion was to recommend it to the full council, but for the first reading only. Mr. Wiley's motion is to amend that and make it to suspend the rules, read one time by title only with a sort of short explanation. Okay. So all in favor of the amendment. Mayor, can, I, we, can we have a discussion on that for just a second? Sure. Uh, so Mr. Wiley's uh, motion would be to pass this tonight? To pass it tonight. When, That's we, when the first time any of us have seen it was about an hour ago. I'm just making sure that I didn't miss something. Okay. Yeah. Well, I, you know, I, I walk in the door tonight and I see this here and it's the first I have seen of it. And the next thing I know, I'm supposed to pass this tonight. It, you know, it goes back to, you know, well, let's, let's find, let's pass it so we can find out what's in it. That just, this bogging in my mind that we, I've got an ordinance in front of me that I've never seen before. <coughs> And I want to be asked to pass it tonight. And from Mr. my understanding, Smith? maybe the work's already started, and they didn't even Mr. have the okay to start it. So I have a, I have a little bit of issue with this. Mr. Smith, did you draw this up? I did also with uh, with help with uh, Ritter Communication, Mr. Strode, who's here tonight. Are you okay with it? Yeah, I'm I'm fine. Uh, it's your standard. 
franchise fee, but it's whatever the council wants to do. So it's not going to change if we don't pass it tonight. It's not going to change next month or the month after. <clears throat> it might change. It, it might not. It, it could possibly change if there's things in here we see that we don't agree with. Yeah. I mean, for instance, over here on, in Section 8, it, it talks about uh, that they're not going to get charged for curb cut fees. We charge city court for curb cut fees. I mean, why would we not charge these folks? I mean, that's the way I read that. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. Well, I haven't read it. You know, um, I don't like to vote on something that's put before me and expect me to vote on it to pass it. I agree with Mr. Harris that I like to read it. You know, if I'd had seen it yesterday, I would have had time to read it. But to walk in and see it and make a decision, I don't like it's, to do that. This, was, is, this is wasn't even on the agenda item for our agenda meeting. It just came in this no. week. And it may be great and wonderful, but Ms. I, Collins, I is haven't that, read it. Can you clear us up on that, when, when this was available? This, this is in there. This is in the finance agenda for tonight. It wasn't. Okay, that's, okay. So that's the first time that it's been. All right. All right. I'll, I'll withdraw my motion. Withdraw. So we're back to the original motion to read one time. Uh, suspend the rules. Read by title only. Or do you want to for read the, the whole thing? For the title only for the first of three readings. And Mayor, I'd also like to to add this in there, <clears throat> possibly for the for the representatives of the Ritter Communication Group to meet with the city IT and possibly Public Works, people to, to discuss any opportunities that might exist for the city and or the community on this project going forward. Everybody understand that? No. Yes. Mm -hmm. What did he say? <laughs> Mr. Stewart, I'd just like for these people to talk with our city IT department and our Public Works department to see if there's anything that the city has on, on the plans or on their agenda down the road that this project might be able okay. to benefit the okay. city and or the residents of the community with. I think okay, thank you. Any other discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Aye. In order to authorize the Ritter Communication, its successors and assigns to construct, maintain, and operate a communications network within the city of Russell, Arkansas, levying a franchise tax, providing for the payment thereof, describing the method of collection, and declaring an emergency, this ordinance, if passed, would levy a franchise tax on Ritter Communication, the amount of 4.25% uh, for uh, for the use of the public right-of-ways, uh, and that levy would be on its gross uh, revenues on uh, the services it provides in the city of Russellville. Can we discuss this briefly? You sure can. Like I said earlier, over here in section eight, mm -hmm. down there where it talks about the curb cut the fees. Mayor, you're fine. Why? Dang it! You're right. D does that say that 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 they will pay no curb cut fees? Yes. Why? Why would why would we want 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 them not to pay curb cut fees when when we charge City Corp, which is it, which is a city owned utility, they pay curb cut fees. Because they're already paying 4.25 percent of the gross their gross revenues for the lines that they're putting in the city's right of way, and the curb would be part of the city's right of way. You hear that? I heard that. But it I says here that that if at any point in the future they begin providing cable so television service, they'll pay the city 4.25 percent. But if they tear up our curbs and then decide and then don't sell anything, we get nothing. And I'll throw into that that currently this states that there's no franchise fee on on uh, internet services. So if all they sell is internet services and they cut a curb cut and you know, we 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 have to pay for that, then it's costing the city something. 
um, and uh, the gross revenue part of it is just a tax that's passed on to the end user, uh, so they're not actually paying anything. All right. Stroud, would you like to address those questions? You can use that microphone in the middle or this one. I am John Strode, uh, Vice President of External Affairs for Ritter Communications. Uh, I'll try to address questions that I've heard here. First, the way I read Section 8, it says, it says that uh, the, the, the uh, fees paid uh, for all licenses are, are well, it's, it's, shall constitute and be considered as complete payment and discharge by Ritter or any other business or its other business names and successors and interest assigns and, and subsidiary or parent corporations or limited liability companies of all licenses, fees, charges, impositions, or taxes of any kind. And then parenthetically it says, other than automobile license fees, special millage taxes, general ad valorem taxes, curb cut fees, and other general taxes that are applicable to all citizens and taxpayers. My reading of that is if that fee uh, that, the, that the fees we're paying in Section 6 and 7 do not cover automobile license fees, special millage taxes, general ad valorem taxes, curb cut fees, and other taxes, that we would pay those other taxes, including curb cut fees, if we were, curting, if we were going to cut the curb. In addition, I would say that this language, both in Section 6 and Section 8 is identical to what is in CenturyLink's franchise ordinance, and Section 7 is identical to what's in SuddenLink's franchise ordinance. So if there's, a, if there's confusion about what it applies to, it applies to those other companies as well. Well, I think part of the confusion is that this was brought to us tonight, and we haven't had a chance to absorb it. So. I make a motion that we table this issue, give everyone a, give everyone the council an opportunity to read it, give Brody. Travis uh, a tray, and then uh, see if we can work through this. Mm -hmm. Are we ready? This was a first reading. You want to table it, and then until when? Bring it back next month for the second it can reading. Only go next month. Yeah, it's on by the rules, it can only go to next month anyway, except for the second. Is that okay? Yeah. Any other discussion? I'll take that money. Mr. Tripp, is that it? No, Mayor, we've got a few more. Um, from tonight's agenda, item three through eight were appropriations passed through, mainly appro uh, appropriations from the general fund for uh, city corporation, administration, uh, shade structures at Hickey Park, uh, police department and fire department lofty payments and some contract labor and those were all approved from the uh, finance committee form of a motion council you council you heard the motion is there any discussion hearing none all in favor aye, aye. opposed <coughs> okay mr tripp mayor that concludes our report from the finance committee thank you mr tripp that brings us to personnel committee chairman stuber Mayor, we have nothing to report at this time. Yeah, thank you. We have a meeting after this meeting. And, and that meeting is downstairs, is that correct? I think so. Okay. That brings us to uh, old business. Item one, consideration of an ordinance providing for the levy of a one quarter percent sales tax, sales and use tax. a motion. I'll make a motion for third read. Okay, Mr. Harris. Second. Mr. Harris. Thank you. Uh, is that motion to read by title only? Certainly. For the third reading. Mayor. Yes. Thank you. Second. I'm sorry. Uh, the second, second was Mr. Robert Spence Spence. Robert. Mr. 
All in favor of the motion to suspend the rules and read by title only for the third reading, say aye. Aye. Opposed? All right, now we're making order. Okay. An order is providing for the levy of one quarter percent <clears throat> sales and use tax within the city of Russell, Arkansas, and prescribing other matters pertaining thereto. This ordinance to have passed would levy a new uh, quarter cent sales tax on the gross receipts. Uh, for sales of retail within the city, uh, and it would go into effect at the beginning of the new year based on the current time timeline. Any discussion? Roll call. Well, the motion has to be a motion. Oh, you didn't get need, a motion? need a motion to adopt. You. Motion to adopt. Thank you. Did you get a second? Need a second? Second. Second, Mr. Harris. Thank you. Any other discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? No. Uh -huh. no. Roll call. Mr. Roberts? Yes. Ms. Harris? No. Mr. Brown? Abstain. No. Mr. Wiley? No. Mr. Richard Harris? No. Mr. Richard Harris? No. no. Mr. Tripp? No. Mr. Stuber? No. Motion fails, so old business number two is uh, useless now. How do we get rid of that? Uh, Motion to discharge? That or remove it, or if we don't have a vote on it. Somebody want to make a motion to remove that? Make a motion. Second. All in favor to remove old business number two permanently from Consideration. Say aye. 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 Old business number three, consideration of an ordinance amending the keeping of chickens within the city of Russellville. Mr. Tripp. Mayor, I don't know how this got started, but I had been approached by some residents uh, wanting to revise the current ordinance that prohibited uh, or regulated the chickens, keeping of chickens within the community. And uh, in reviewing that, uh, <clears throat> I did find for sure one thing that needed to be changed. The current ordinance does not prohibit somebody from having a rooster. And uh, so if nothing else, we need to revise that ordinance to, uh, uh, to prohibit roosters, but uh, I'm not uh, opposed to revising the uh, chickens. Uh, so I think there's an ordinance that um, we've kind of talked about. Uh, we got tabled last month. So due process would be to have the first of three readings, correct? We don't have an ordinance in front of us to read though, do we? Yeah. All we have is consideration to amend the ordinance. The ordinance is already, it's the animal code. It's been in place for 20 years. This is just amending a section of that code. But I don't, we don't have a, we don't have anything. Uh, I don't have anything in front of me that says what it's going to read. Yes, it's, you do. It's, uh, it's okay, a, is it in there? Old yes. business number three, Mr. Harris. <coughs> Mr. Smith, is that the proper way, due diligence in this process, to have the first of three readings? That's what the council desires. Uh, I would, you know, I, I, me personally, I think that we need to change a few things in there, but to get the process started, I'm okay with, with making a motion to have the first reading by title only, first of three readings, uh, and we can uh, amend it as we get closer to the third reading if need be. And that's a motion. Second.
You heard the motion in the second. Is there any discussion? I'm like Mr. Harris. I don't know what really what we're voting on. If you'll look at old business number three, you can see the, the ch proposed changes. It was in your packet last month and this month, Mr. Wally. We take it last month. <clears throat> Well, I personally, I've got more calls on this one item, believe it or not, than any other item that we've had for the last three months. And there was nobody in favor of it. to suspend the rules. All in favor of suspending the rules? Aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. No. I guess let's call the roll on that. Uh -huh. Mr. Tripp? Yes. Mr. Roberts? Yes. Mr. Richard Harris? Yes. Ms. Freddie Harris? No. Mr. Stuber? No. Mr. Brown? No. Mr. Wiley? No. Motion passed. Do we want to remove this off the agenda too? Okay, so we need a motion to clean this up. Do we want to remove it? Because actually the way we just read that, it should be gone. we voted not to suspend the rules and read by title only. So is your intent to read this whole thing or is your intent to get rid of it? My motion was to read by title only one of three readings Yes. Uh, to okay. potential, if nothing else, outlaw your roosters com, within the city of Russellville. Your compadres did not want to read it by title only, so. We can read the whole thing, if that was what the vote was. Well, it, is that, try to get us out of this, would you? Either we, if the council wants to, uh, it to be read, its entirety can be done. If it's just wanting not to address this, then we need to just remove it off the agenda. So we would need somebody to make, make a, a motion, motion either way. way. I make a motion, we move it. Second. What happens to the vote we just yeah, took? We that was to suspend the rules we we by title only. Yeah. But there's a motion in a second. Yes. And it was voted down. Yeah. Okay. To suspend to the rules. To suspend the rules. To suspend voted the rules. Down. So it's still on the agenda, it's just now. Okay. Either I agree in its entirety or it needs to be disposed of. There you got a motion in a second. And we've got discussion going on down here. No. If you can wait just a second. Okay. We're good. Thank you. Sorry. We're good. Is everybody done? I don't think I'm clear. Mr. Harris? I'm not Excuse sure I'm clear where we are on this issue. Mr. Wiley has made a motion to remove this from our agenda. I understand. And it's been seconded. Seconded by Mr. Stuber. Any other discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Aye. 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 Call the roll. Mr. Wiley? Yes. Mr. Stuber? Yes. Mr. Tripp? No. Ms. Freddie Harris? Yes. Mr. Roberts? No. Mr. Brown? Yes. Mr. Richard Harris? No. Mayor, can I ask a clarification? Each five affirmative votes. Okay. Sorry. <coughs> the only thing we can do now is read it. Okay. An ordinance submitting the keeping of chickens within the city of Russellville and for other purposes now therefore be ordained by the city council of the city of Russellville 
Arkansas that section one, this ordinance is passed by the city council, city of Russellville under the authority, grant of authority given to it by the state of Arkansas and Arkansas code annotated sections 1453, 602, 1454-103, 1454-1101, and 1455-102, section two, the city Russellville animal control code as established by ordinance number 1671 is hereby amended with the following section 11-1-2 keeping a small livestock poultry subsection b3 to read as follows b3 chickens and similar fowl four square feet per bird over four months of age with the maximum number of chickens per residence to be six chickens no roosters shall be allowed in the city of russellville owner of chickens to provide animal control personnel with proof of vaccination of chickens. Section three, the city of Russellville Animal Control Code as established by ordinance number 1671 is hereby amended with the following section 11-1-2, keeping a small livestock and poultry subsection C to read as follows. C, all pens, houses, and enclosures where small livestock or poultry are kept shall not, shall not be less than 300 feet from any residence or business establishment. Subsection one, provided however, this restriction does not apply to a residence or business establishment in the livestock or owner, animals owners and subsection two, it is specifically intended as an exception to 11-1-2C that all pens, house, enclosures where chickens and similar fowl are kept shall not be less than 75 feet from all adjacent property lines. Mayor, can I ask something for clarification? Anything, Mr. Tripp? And this might be a question for Mr. Vernon. <clears throat> uh, currently, uh, if so, with this, with the current ordinance we have, if I have 300 feet, I can go get a rooster tomorrow and the city cannot take that rooster from me, correct? You can get all the roosters okay. you want tomorrow. Right. Yes, sir, Mr. Okay. Tripp, good I just, point. I just wanted to, to clarify that. Yep. <coughs> New business number four. Number one. Number one. We're on number one, new business. We got New business number one is an ordinance amending ordinance number 2023 regarding the downtown historic district. We need some kind of a motion, either discharge it, read it by title only. We need to do something. Make a motion. We spend the rules, read by title only with short explanation. For the first reading only? Or first, for reading, first reading only. First reading only. Second. We have a motion and a second. Motion and second is to suspend the rules for the first reading only and read by title only. Any questions on the motion? In that case, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Thank you. Mr. Smith. In order to amend the ordinance number 2023 regarding establishing procedures for the protection and preservation of the character of properties within the Russell Downtown Historic District and for other purposes, this ordinance is passed would amend uh, the original ordinance setting up the historic district uh, commission uh, downtown district ordinance number 2023 uh, with the following uh, amendments uh, which uh, clarifies the uh, boundaries of the historic district commission and also makes clarification as to the certificate of appropriation uh, in the original sections 5e and 6a any discussion mayor Could, or with this on the agenda it's not on month? the agenda it'll be on next tuesday's finance and uh, agenda prep night if that's okay okay unless you're wanting to make a motion to add it as a late agenda item but no, we that one is fairly technical. There's a lot of details. Yeah, I'm not sure have it would pass tonight. It won't pass, true. but we haven't read it. Uh, Can I get a motion to adjourn? Motion to adjourn. Thank you. We're going downstairs. Huh? That's